Does he piss? Have you ever seen him go? No. Have you? I don't think so, no. Maybe he's got a shy bladder. A killer cyborg with a shy bladder. Do you hear yourself? What do you know about the Ashura? Straight to the point. I like that. The Ashura were the original Ghost Runners, a prototype series. Each had unique architecture, different skill set, different fighting style. They served on a couple of missions each, but soon after the regular GRs rolled out, they got recalled. Recalled? Well, it's a bit of an understatement. Apparently, Adam found out they'd been conspiring to kill him. He got mad, understandably, and the Ashura vanished. Vanished? As if they were never there. Even Mara wasn't sure what happened to them. Or at least that's what she claimed. There were rumors about them being destroyed, imprisoned, or escaping outside. But anyone who spread them got into trouble with the architect himself. So, everyone involved learned to keep their mouth shut, and the memory of the Ashura faded. What is Bushido? A safety protocol. A set of directives ingrained deep into each Ghost Runner's circuitry, meant to prevent them from going rogue. Do I have this protocol? No way! At its core, Bushido prevents GRs from harming the tower's inhabitants without a direct order from the Architect himself. And you must have killed like what? A couple hundred by now? Don't worry, your restraint module broke along with most of your other features, back when you had your first run-in with the boss. How do you know so much about GRs? I was tasked with building one, so I studied every bit of data and every scrap of GR tech I could find. You built... Hell units. Well, not built as such, more like repurposed. What were they before? They were to become GR 2.0s. You probably know your main purpose was to be a vessel for Architect AI. I'm aware. The second generation bodies were meant for the boss. Wait, there's an AI based on Mara? No, she'd never agreed to create something like that. Adam had secretly scanned her brain to begin developing it, but she found out. That's actually one of the reasons she decided to remove him. You seem happy to be here. Why wouldn't I? I came with you because I wanted to. I mean, I've hacked everything there was to hack up there months ago. I get to choose between re-watching the same movies for the thousandth time and hacking a rogue AI that might be the architect? Not a hard choice. Oh, one more thing. I brought, like, my whole flat with me. And there's this one program that I'm working on lately that I think you might enjoy. Just make yourself comfortable on the, uh, gaming chair. Huh. Okay. Might check it out. Cool. Stage 1, initialized. Subject, Jack. I'll go easy on you.
Your friend wasn't easy to find. I know. I do believe she's worth it, though. She knows more about the GR's implants than even Mara ever did. How come? Well, the Keymaster was a biologist by trade. She dabbled in electronics, but always needed a competent partner in her projects. Used to be the architect, but... She killed him. Yeah, and then replaced him with Kira. Some resume. Like I said, you won't find anyone better. check in on you then. Shh. I was never here. You hear me? Keep spying, little buddy. Hey, Zoe. I've sent you your new administrator password. What? Why would I need a new password? I've taken the liberty of tweaking your security protocols. You've hacked our network? I wouldn't call it that, Zoe. The word hacking usually implies the presence of security. Just who the heck do you think you are? I'm someone who'd like to politely point out that CLIMB123 is not a secure password, and that NLT 3.0 was obsolete by the time you were born. Is that why back in the day you set the key's comms to run on 2.5? To make it easy for me to hack? Oh, sorry. Not fair to call that hacking, right? Ouch. Touché. Muller, I need to talk to you. I need a pina colada served to me by Reddit and high heels, yet here we both are. Sad and unfulfilled. I'm an experienced military operative. Your organization could benefit from my skills. If only you managed to look past the fact that I once served your enemy. Oh, you got it all wrong, soldier boy. I don't give a fuck about the fact that you're a key. Then why do you treat me like shit? Because I know about your mutiny. You have the sense to see what was going on. You had the means to end the madness in a heartbeat, but you didn't have the balls to do what needed to be done. You hate me because I chose standing up to Mara openly over murdering her. I hate you because you chose to make a statement, an empty fucking gesture over actually solving the problem. I hope the next time you choose to play the martyr, you'll at least manage to die properly. Hey, nerd. What you up to? Oh, hey, Firebreath. Didn't see you there. So, you done stealing our data? Or are you staying for dinner? I could steal your data from all the way up in the city if I wanted to. Though, I don't see why I would need a list of my ex-co-workers, some outdated blueprints, and a meager collection of bad porn. Hey, watch it. Those are classics. I'd rather not watch it, if that's fine with you. Keep spying, little buddy. <laughs> What do you think of Kira? Let's say I'm not a fan. She seems capable. Capable, yes. Trustworthy? Not so much. We need her. I know, I know. Working with X keys is just another one of these things we need to do. But I can't help the feeling that we're betraying what we stand for. Freedom? Yes. The climbers are supposed to be about gaining freedom, not power or control. Or at least that used to be the case.
What do you think about our current situation? It's a little bit funny. Guess we all felt like toppling the Keymaster was going to be the end. Job well done, give ourselves a medal, and get back to normal life. Turns out, you can't just kill the tyrant and call it a day. Things don't run themselves. People don't turn all nice just because their oppressor died. There is no normal life until you work it out. <laughs> Who would have thought? You okay with Kira joining us? Sure. The more the merrier. You don't feel the need to arrest her? Nah, man. She's a scientist. People like her are gonna keep sciencing no matter how fucked up the project you put in front of them is. No point in blaming them. The best you can do is put them in a cozy lab, make sure they're working on something useful to you. Mara was a scientist. Mara was a fascist. Those you put in the ground at the earliest opportunity. Which... You did. Good job. Anyway, get ready. Cause you're in for round two. This time it better work out. I'm ready. Good. Let's get to it. Who's joining us? Kira and Zoe. Why? What, you have a problem with my company? Not the biggest fan. Tough luck, pal. Now move. We don't have time. 